Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal? It's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. So, uh, we got Larry Bird again. <clears throat> love doing Bird, um, I love doing Bird reactions because his fans always come and run my, uh, likes up, and I get the most traction with these videos, so, you know, I'm gonna keep doing them. Um, this is Larry Bird's greatest games against my Pistons <laughs> before I was born, though. Um, let's check it out. It's the Eastern Conference semifinals in 85. I actually got my 85, 86 jersey on right now. On offense yet. Bird. Missed first point. Boston and they have the ball. Bird. Two. Boston lead is four. Just lethal. You wanted him to drive the ball. You didn't want him to shoot. And the thing is, his playmaking is so damn underrated, bro. Like a lot of these passes, like I said, I seen Nicole Yoke is doing. And a lot of these other cats, I seen the touch pass, the swing pass, like the little touch pass and all that. Like I, like Larry Bird was doing that in the eighties. I just did like uh, videos of watch of highlights of Larry Bird watching them. If I like wouldn't have been doing these Larry Bird videos the last what eight months now, I probably would still be like, yeah, I've ne I've never seen. Nothing like what Jokic is doing, but because I know the game, because I've watched so many players in the past from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, I'm just now getting acclimated to the 60s and 50s and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just amazing how underrated Larry Bird is, bro. You can play so big. Team over Isaiah. Uh, Mikhail wins the foot race. Good pass by Bird, and then the bouncer couldn't get a shot up. Gets out of the paint. Now goes back in there. He got four, and with the ball, 505 in the quarter. Well, if Detroit was hitting, what a difference it would be for them. Isaiah got a piece of it. Larry got it back. He sucked. Oh. Bird pulls up. They want to get it to him in there if they can. They do. And he was so versatile, bro. You see how he just backed him down, posted him up, and gave him a hook shot. And then he could take you on the perimeter and just drain the three in your face. Like, if they can get him a ball in there, it's a long night for Detroit. You heard what he said. Mikhail in a hurry with a hook. Beat that beer. His first basket, he has four. Boston can open it up to eight points if Danny Ainge scores here. Great look for Bird. Brennan Ainge on that. Bird with 14. Danny Ainge. Kevin McHale and company don't want to see Isaiah Thomas in, but Isaiah really didn't have a good place to go, as you can see. He won airborne, a very fatal mistake that guards make sometimes, and Isaiah's getting to the point where he shouldn't be doing that at this stage of his career. When you go airborne, you've got to know where you're going and what you're doing. Not a hand in the face. Round tail gambled on the steel, and we we'll see that. Get it, and Bird put it away. Not a hand in the face. Round tail Bird. Not a hand in the face. Round tail. Nothing. It was like nothing to him. Gambled on the steel, didn't get it, and Bird put it away. He's got 16. 54, 51, Boston. Long over Ains. That won't go. Hail the rebound. Here comes the Boston break. If they can. They do. What a block by Bill Lambeer. We have four minutes till halftime. Parrish and Lambeer playing away at one another. Bird. Oh! Bird. Dennis is open and he's hot. IQ is just underrated, bro. He always made sure he knew where his teammates was at. And I never seen too many Larry Bird passes that had them 
off balance or whatever, he gave it to him right in the pocket to where they could just follow through and shoot their shot. 26 for DJ. Part of Larry Bird's game that's so important to him. Mikhail, over around there. No. Bird. Yeah. That's what he's proud to help this club. Look at this guy. Holy oh, cow. Oh, wow. And they scored the goal. Larry Bird was like, he could be a 6'10 guard, then he can go and be a 6'10 power forward, then turn around and be a 6'10 wing. You know what I'm saying? Larry Bird was just so unique, bro. Like, in these games today, they would have a real problem with him. And I'm going to tell you why, bro. His court vision is so ridiculous. Then he used to run up and down the court like prime Bird. Listen. He would be on, listen, he would be a point guard god, a 6'10 point guard, like Larry Bird would be. Like, he would be switching it up on him. He would be like a, a point forward. But then he would be in the post, and then he could come out and stretch you out with the three. Like, and then his court vision and his uh, playmaking, listen, Larry Bird would, would – Average at least 30. I think this would be his stat line. Since he averaged 24, 10, and 6, I think, like, these days he would be somewhere like 30, 12, and 9. I think he would average that for a career. If Prime Larry Bird was uh in this uh, – if Prime Larry Bird had played in these age, I think he would average like 30, 12, and about 9. 30, 12, and 9, or 30, 12, and 10. Because the three pointer is more prevalent, his uh, IQ is through the roof, bro. His pocket passing is immaculate, bro. And then his hustling, he has the the uh, for some reason, bro. He could be fighting for the ball, falling on the ball, or whatever. And he always knows where his teammates is at, bro. For real. Coming for a man six nine, the head fake, which wasn't even necessary. But how about this move? For a guy who can't leap, it's so difficult to execute a shot going under and away from the basket when you don't have the correct. It's 10 on the shot clock. Oh, oh, oh. Broke away from the... So deceptive. What a fine pass. Who is that? Those team fouls in the fourth quarter could be so important. Harris broke away. Those are the defensive lapses that kill a team. Now it's luck. Bird from outside. What do you do? Exactly. What do you do? He lost his dribble option by dropping the ball. We had no amount of run out. Shaq McCloskey said at halftime, we won't go away. <laughs> Bird, great move on the right side. And I think that's why Larry Bird said what he said. He said he felt disrespected when white guys was trying to guard him because he knew that the black guys were the best ones on the, on the uh, floor. And that let me know that Larry Bird was a killer. Like, I don't want no white. These white boys can't play. And I ain't trying to take race into it and everything. Like, it's some white boys that's cold. But in his eyes, he like, man, that's disrespectful. Can't no white. Man, y'all better get some of these boys, some of these brothers to guard me. <laughs> and he was right. Because I told people, I tell people every day, Larry Bird is better than Magic Johnson. I got Larry Bird ranked higher than Magic Johnson all the time. That's just my opinion. I know Magic got a better resume and everything like that. Larry Bird ain't had no Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm sorry. He ain't had, he had Hall of Famers, but Kareem is better than everybody that was on the Celtics, 85, 86 Celtics team, period. Parrish, DJ, uh, Kevin McHale, whoever you want to name, I bet you Bird would trade all them for him. If, if Bird and Kareem was together, they would have won just as many championships. He's not that bad. in the plane. In the foul. That shot 32 is a phenomenal shot. Our joint was left on the weak side, right? Back to the right hand. Touch is what makes that so special. 
8.33 left. They want to go to Burr. He gets it. Big Sheraton, perfect pass. They just could not stop him. He was all over the floor. And Bird is flying high from the tree. Bird goes to work. Was that a left-handed delivery? I couldn't quite tell. Looks like 14-108. There goes Bird again. He's got 39 points. He's got... Benson in there to play Perry. Bird again. I mean, he was getting whatever he wanted, interior, perimeter, whatever. A 15-point quarter, 41 in the game. They lead by eight to the seven. Benny Johnson hangs in the air, line drives it up and will not go, and there's Mr. Bird again. Oh, Do you see what I'm saying, bro? His, bro, his playmaking is elite, bro. Behind the back, Pat, bro, his playmaking is elite, bro. Third again. Boom, right there. Oh. Boom, all he got to do is step, jump into it, shoot, good. He didn't have to wobble. He didn't have to look back or nothing. Oh. Man, I really don't know what you want me to say, bro. What you want me to say, bro? Larry Bird, greatest games, 43 versus Pistons, but that last pass is indicative of how great Larry Bird playmaking and IQ is, bro. Like, for real. This has been Hulu Sendo with another video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you want to uh, donate to my YouTube, add fun. The link will be in the comments. I'm out.